I said, turn that thing down and get ready for whatever you're supposed to do on Wednesday. <laughs> you know get your something? asses up. You Come know on. what? What's up, man, with this kind of delayed intro? Welcome to Morning Coffee. I got one question to you, Mario. One question directed to you. You ready for the answer? Because I'm going to give it the to you The anyway. answer is sometimes late at night when my parents aren't home. Okay. Do you like <laughs> toffee? Oh, man, I like toffee. How much toffee do you like? I like it better when you put some shula. Oh, look at you slam. I like that. <laughs> you get I that like real. that. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, it's that kind of a day. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. It's going to be a crazy day, but also a musical one. Listen, besides Conspiracy Wednesday, which we do every Wednesday, and let me tell you something, Conspiracy Wednesday is going to be hot. We also have indie artists, Toffee Shula. Oh, you said it, but look yeah, at it. Yeah, man. It's going to be hot, hot, right? hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. But let me tell you something. We're going to do Conspiracy Wednesday. We're talking all about the march you never heard about. Did you know that 800 people have been arrested in New York for occupying Wall Street? No. Um, no, it's not on the mainstream media. That's part of the conspiracy. That's right. We're going to get in the news and talk about things that are relevant. You know, whatever you're doing today, let's get ready. Come on, Vic. <laughs> I got to tell them something, right? You guys, you know why we do this. I apologize. I had a ham sandwich. I was trying to go green. I also found out that there's a new list by the FBI. There's a category now, Most Wanted Negroes. It's back, Mario. We should celebrate the term Negro. Are you embracing that, my brother? Like I said, y'all forget, Negro is what white people used to call us when they was being nice to us. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> I need to remind you. <laughs> Hi, Negroes. It's a term of endearment. I know, I know. I didn't get to be black till I was 13. Damn, you know. You know what? We are going to move on forward. Why? Why? Because we need to embrace our Negroism. Hey, we're going to embrace the truth today. But that's right. But that's we're going gonna, gonna to get the chance to punctuate it, you know. Have a little music. Have a little conspiracy. All day, baby. Hey. You know, we say All this day. is a show that comes to you like that. So whatever you're doing out there, we're here to remind you about what you could be doing in Neil Urban Internet Television. So get your fruit. Get your brand muffins. Get those Bye scrambled with. eggs. Get your Bye tea. With. Your cocoa. Get those illegal Cubans. Those unfiltered camels. Whatever you smoking on, that good-ass Cali, whatever you sipping on. <laughs> Baby, come on, share it with us. Why are you bowing your head down, Toffee? I mean, you know, what's up? You Don't be shamed. <laughs> okay, Mario, check it out. I got she hot didn't get picks. get fruit yet. Oh, that's cold. Don't be saying that, man. Don't get be saying fruit. that. No, 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 no. Check it out, you guys. We got hot picks. We got sports. GNM Port Townsend in the house. PMC says I like alien booty. Why are you going to put me out like that, dude? I'm going to talk about you. Any kind of booty you. is good booty. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. That's cold. You know, wave your arms. Come on. It's that time, man. It's that time. Time, right? B, 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 oh, B, cool. Okay, you know what? Wow, the timing was off, man. What's up with you? <laughs> you, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, wait a minute. Watch, no, watch him bend over. Watch this. Get this shot, you guys. See, no, blue no, shot. No, don't watch me bend over. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch anybody bend over. <laughs> Let me do Pick this, man. the other one. Wait a minute. Do, do your plan B for me, man. Do plan your plan B. B. Plan B, plan yeah. B. He knows what plan B is. Watch this. I hear the noise. I hear the sound. Let me see if it. Dang, look at that. Look at that. Man you knows. Know, what's plan B? Plan B is switch the equipment to the other camera. <laughs> as you can tell, <laughs> this is Neil Irwin Internet Television. As we say so often, there are no cameramen. There are no sound technicians. Only two Negroes, not in the ghetto, but we can see the fence. <laughs> okay, I'm just telling you. <laughs> That's right. I've jumped that fence. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. October 5th, 2011, I had to look, I had to check. I know. And the slogan of the week, and we have a slogan every week, is that the earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Okay. All right? Good work. But it's going to be a special day, like we said, during that wonderful intro, that exercise moment, because our guest artist, everybody, Ms. Toffee Shula. Bam. Yeah. That's a good angle, Vic. <laughs> I know, man. Good angle. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Toffee. Hi, Mario. This is going to be fun. I understand you brought music today. I brought music. And we're going to get a chance to check out your indie product. Yes. Okay. And, uh, Vic, and, you know, we didn't get a chance to, you know, we never get a chance. People think we get a chance to rehearse. But we like to get it. We like the thrill of 
the thrill of just not knowing. That's yeah. right. Just not knowing. Nice. So, Vic. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to get some live performances, too, today. Yes, you are. She's going to grace you with what really matters in the uh, artistic industry, something that you and I don't have any talent in. I would address differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. That's right. But we know it's going to be good. So everybody stick around. You know, we do our sipping and schmoozing. For those of you who don't know, the Morning Coffee Show is broken up into segments. We do our initial opening monologue segment. We sort of set up everything. And today we're going to have a sipping and schmoozing segment with our friend Toffee right here. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get into Conspiracy Wednesday, which a lot of you are really aching to get into. I was putting on Facebook, you know, all night long, Vic, links, videos, talking about... Yeah. The hot conspiracy of the day is that there's a huge ass protest. There's an occupation going on in New York City. True. Okay, where they've taken over Wall Street and the protests are down there. And we don't get to know or hear anything about it. It's almost not making right. mainstream media, even though people are saying this may be the beginnings of one of those movements like that occurred. In Tahrir Square. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. Know, maybe maybe now the populist movements where people are coming out mad as heck about the money, the system that they say doesn't represent them. They say they are the other 99%. That's their slogan. <laughs> wow. They're the other 99%. So we're going to be talking today during conspiracy, mm. during the good news, bad news, about the 700, now 800, I believe, right. Wall Street protesters arrested. Wow. And no one, absolutely no one is talking about it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's one of those things that it's how you frame the story. We need more independent reporters. May, and I'm not trying to say we need Russian TV. But you do see a framing of the story where it's just not hitting the same way. And you know that for a reason. Well, yeah. I know. And so we try to get those. You know how we are. We are Neil Urban in our television. And, of course, sometimes we, we kind of walk the line. Just like yesterday. <laughs> That's wrong. Funny show with comedian Pitt. Excuse me. <laughs> I got Pitbull on my mind. I know, I know what you're going to. I got Pitbull. The That's promotion. We'll, we'll, tell, we'll tell about the Pitbull. Yeah, we'll tell, you know yesterday what? was comedian Peanut. That's cold, man. That's right. Because sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> <Sometimes you don't. laughs> That's right. That's right. Just, so we had comedian Peanut. And, I, and some of the people, I know, it, it was a little bit of expletive laden. A little? That was... Dude. But, uh, fuck it. You got... <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> shit. Like, I did innovation. I did. I tell everybody. I asked my mom. I did. I asked her. I said, "Mom, you know, it's a little bit of profanity." She said, "Son, you have other sides. You're so complex. <laughs> so complex." I said, Thanks, mom. Thank you. Hey, well, look. PMC out of Pittsburgh said it was funny as hell. Well, and, thank you. And Norman Ross was like, like I said, it's it's just a flavoring that people want to see us do. We're trying to be what correct. Trying to be and correct. And it's not working, right? Now, that's right. Speaking of correct, let's talk about that chat room. Okay. Our special place for our friends. That's right, where people are gathering right now. And we have our chat room all-stars. Mac McAllister. That's right. Danielle Holland, the fine-ass red bone. And Norman Ross of the Norman Ross Experience, the man who keeps Cleveland <laughs> on the map. In Cleveland. That's right. And our featured member of right. the chat room, once again, PMC. Pittsburgh Steelers. Mr. Phil. <laughs> Pittsburgh. There he is. I thought, wait, what happened? I had logged in here, man. Oh, uh, you know, if I were UPMC Pittsburgh, dude, I would sit back and ask for something in compensation because he messed up your intro of your graphic display of how you oh, look. That's, that's not nice. <laughs> look at it. Talk through it. Wait a minute. Y'all didn't pay to get in, in here. Wait, watch this. Watch this. You're supposed to talk through it, man. Talk through it. All right. I want you to show you how the chat room so you know this stuff's being recorded. See, I ain't watching you. <laughs> So I know you not. Watching, they said they were 100 more than coffee folks, so those are the ones to watch <laughs> up there early trying to talk about some conspiracies. Yes, see. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, get in the chat room because you know we're under attack. <laughs> get, on, get in there. Now, okay, I want to tell you guys something else. Next week, Mac, we're going to get a chance to show you the photo. I, I tried to have it today, but I got delayed. Mac McAllister had a uh, sailing boat. <laughs> Wash up outside his house. I got this funny shit. Are you shit. serious? Yes, I got to uh, show you. We'll do that next week. But Vic, yeah. got to tell him about the wonderful pit bull. You know, I used to start the day, two Red Bulls and a Viagra. Yes, you did. But today I did. I went to pit bull. I went to pit bull today. Feel, feeling, I'm feeling kind of happy. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of. <laughs> but pit bull, look at this. Cherry lime. It's got antioxidants, <laughs> vitamin B6, 
<laughs> vitamin B12, some ginseng. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Good for what ails you. <laughs> and they came by, thanks to the other, to our friendly fine-ass Redbone. Danielle. Danielle Holland over at Pitbull. She sent us uh, two cases. So I guess should you feel the need, want to affect your kidneys, rinse out some of those evil humors, we have some Pitbull for you. You can have a Pitbull. I got them cold. Oh, 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 and you know, a question came oh in, Mario. God. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Mario, a question just came in, man. Somebody just said if you had to give up <laughs> Pitbull or Viagra, which one would go first? Man, I got to need that Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I use for my headaches. Makes a headache go away in a moment. That's when you get oh, a, it's good. It's good for, it's good for them cramps. <laughs> When you get a cramp. <laughs> so I want you guys to know, we was want to thank them. Well, we're going to next week, we're going to do a formal <laughs> testing of the pit bull. But I, today, that was my first taste. I must say, let me try it again. You, man, you mm-hmm. surprised. Mm-hmm. How come mm-hmm. you didn't tell me we was going to mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come you didn't mm-hmm. tell me we was going to do the pit bull thing? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, Vic. You know, it was late last night. I had, you know, an urge for pit bull, but I held off to this morning. And that's why I had a cramp when I got up. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say it's quite tasty. Okay, now let me. I've ask never you. had cherry lime energy drink, but I must say it's unique experience. And, and rather than Red Bull, we're gonna right. get a Pit Bull. As long as there's a bull in there somewhere, <laughs> you're good. It'll right. be the. But this is the Pit Bull. That's the Negro one. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, are, are you saying that we are now climbing the ladder of success because we have a functional corporate endorsement of a product? Right? Two clients so far. Two clients. <laughs> Got the pit bull. What was that other one? Yeah, Viagra. Oh. We had that other. I forgot that one. It was that one that um, Tuesday night right. throw down. Yeah. At Max <laughs> Let me do this. Norman out of Cleveland keeps saying how much he loves Toffee's look. Oh, thank you, Norman. Say. Thank you very much. You know what? Nasty I am freak. a Cincinnati native, so Whoa. go Ohio. Oh, Norman, yes. what are you looking at? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the hat. Is it the hat, Norman? You see, don't yes, say that. the hat. Uh, Everybody says the hat. It's, oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Someone very close to me gave me this hat. So. Wow. It is a tight look. Well, I wanted, okay, you guys. Well, that's the kind of the day it's going to be. I got to remind you, too, of the hot and trending I never can say that right. The hot and trending tweets. Yeah. Take a look right there, and they are going. That's our real time Twitter feed. You can find it under twin, <laughs> twinding tweets, <laughs> twinding tweets. We. <tweet. laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, go. You can leave the twinding tweets. This today are Amanda Knox. She's home in Seattle. Right. Facebook privacy. NBA lockout looking more. It looks like it's the lockout, huh, Vic? Yeah, it does. And the thing, the prequel that's coming out, that's what everybody's talking about. Look at that stuff. It's bouncing around. So yeah, if you want to follow yeah, the I trends, go to our page and you can do that. Now, I got to remind you, we're almost done with the announcement. I know y'all. We got that new video Q&A. Okay, you guys, go to the, look on our menu bar. It says video q and allows you to post video messages or comments. And we're going to display them on the air. I challenge and our viewers, to go to that menu bar, go to the video Q&A, and post a video question, commentary, just act the fools, just say some irrelevant nonsense, we don't care. Yep. Just put something in there, yep. and we'll show it on the air. That's right. We will. Yeah. I promise you. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, Mike, uh, I have to say something, man. Mac chimed in when you guys were talking about Ohio. He, he said, watch out, I'm from Columbus. Hey, that's go Columbus. That's right. I have family in Columbus. Man, man, we got Ohio in the... Camp Mario, um, what's I'm up? telling you, man, Ohio. Oh, by the way, Mac McAllister is the GNM bureau chief. He is the director, producer, creator mm-hmm. of the Retro Jazz and Blues Show, the number one yes, sir. retro jazz and blues show. You can find it at online with Mac.ning.com. Mac, make sure you, you I sent you a package, Mac. No, you no, you won't you can't roll it. <laughs> but it's a package. So if you so if you haven't got watch out, because it's the, you know, people steal stuff off your doorstep. That's true. I'm telling you. That's All true. right. All right, Vic, I think it's time. It is time. I think it's time to go to that other thing right. that we so often do. I want you to hurry it up because, you know, we want, I want to, I want to, you know what I want to do. I want some toffee. Oh, I thought you were about to say, wash your hands. You said you want some coffee. <laughs> I said toffee. He wants some toffee, <laughs> want not some the toffee. coffee. He wants something sweet, but not to eat. 
And we won't have to repeat. So well, hurry up, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the time that we call foreplay. Just a very few special moments to seduce your mind. Hey, did you know you could have your own personal internet television channel? That's right. That's actually what this is all about. In fact, we are putting on this show. This show is the example for you of what you could be doing. Our slogan here at Pax Zero TV, it's not what Vic and Mario are doing with internet television. It's what you could and should be doing with internet television yourself because you can have this and it's free. We built the platform. We're telling you how to do it. It's all free. It's using proprietary software all over the internet. And why do we say that? Because we are part of a revolution. A revolution that's going to see citizens taking back the airways. And we're going to give you example today during Conspiracy TV. What am I saying? I'm saying you can go right now, right at this minute, well, after the show. <laughs> And go to Livestream.com, <laughs> make you an account, and have your own channel. Get started playing around with it. I know you don't know what you're doing. It's free, damn it. That's right. Shit, what else you got to hear? Free. Just make one. Shit. Ain't going to cost you nothing. Play with it. Not yourself for a day. I'm telling you. So I'm telling you this is why it's important because the whole point of this show and the reason why we are able to get artists like Toffee, Shula, Here's because we represent the opportunity that is new. Remember when radio was new? Remember when television is new? Baby, this is bigger than that. Because when you, the citizen, can go to the airways, just like I'm doing, and be seen by an unlimited number of people all over the world, that's power, baby. And that's why I want you to have some. So watch us. We're telling you how to create your own channel so you can do what we do. Hey, I hear you. I know you can do better. I hear you. You're supposed to be thinking, well, I can do better than this. I can do it. I get my, get my cousin, Ray, that I call my sister, and she puts some curtains up. I can get re -re. That's the whole point. You can have your channel. I know you can do better. Like we said, some of y'all, you just have to dress up or dress down, and it's already better to a bunch of folks. You might make some extra money. Get on in the internet and make your channel. I know. Don't get freaky with it. I know, but that's a seduction. <laughs> because I remember the take-home message is that you can have yours. And once you have yours, come see Big Papa so I can tell you how to run a 24-hour system. 24-hour broadcasting. Because you know what? I can make them so fast, baby. Shit, I made 300 before, right, Vic? That's right. That's why she right. has a whole bunch of ex-girlfriends. All right. All right. So that's why <laughs> we are here because we love living the dream. We love doing the impossible, and because we have a hidden agenda that's no longer hidden, we want you to have an internet television channel for your damn self. I ain't making no money. So why, what, what you getting out of it, Mario? Your love and affection. And you know how much that's worth, you know? <laughs> and in order for us to have a nice, momentous fan following of women from the other side of the gender base. I was talking to the men a lot. I want you that. to encourage women to follow why a workaholic like yourself have something to give back, not only to the other side. First of all, I had one of the things we've noticed here at Paxdale TV is we, that, fellas, <laughs> small lady entrepreneurs coming down the we, pipe. Every I'm day, you, baby. That's what we mostly run, in, run into. All day. You know, I say we run into about two or three ladies for every male entrepreneur. Yes. Why is that? Mm. What is it? It's talk. Because all the men tie for that child support. <laughs> They're mad. Can't do shit. They so holy mad. They at home mad. <laughs> wonder, now, wonder if our audience is like 18. Wonder if our you audience is 18. You and baby home mad. <laughs> Aren't you talking to a certain age group? I am. Okay. I looked at our demographics, Vic. Oh, you're supposed to be more focused on but, the youth. You know what was, hey, I tell you, hey, you guys, you know what's funny about our demographics? Even though we peaked in the 35 to 45 year old, we had as many 55 to 65, so we had like 18 to 25. <laughs> I know. I said, wow, this, I didn't know that our demographic was spread I so no wide. Idea. I have no idea. You guys, idea. It's, I thought it was much more narrow. I actually thought it was more old folks. <laughs> Well, Actually, that's a compliment. It, I guess I, I thank you, young, young people. people. Yes, that's right. That sure All is. Right. They obviously think there's a something. We give you secrets. <laughs> we give you secrets. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to pass down some secrets. Yeah. You know, I got some. They probably said, let me talk to that crazy. Mm -hmm. Let me see that. Let me see this crazy Mario guy. That's Ooh, right. Stereo. They are. <laughs> so I'm a, Tuffy, I'm going to tell them. I can that's tell you how to. Find the zone, if you know what I mean. This dude is crazy. You gotta see him. You gotta see him. Well, speaking of crazy, 
Vic, can, yes, sir. we got to tell, because we're almost ready to get to our sipping and moves. I can't wait. I got to tell you, coming soon, I got to call Lillian. This guy got, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to call Lillian, because Phil Perry's going to be here in November. He's performing 19th. Okay, so you guys, you should go see him. But then you can watch him, because I'm telling you, we're going to do a hell of a show on Phil. Yeah. I want to see some old photos. We're going to talk about him growing up in St. Louis, East St. East St. Louis. You going to show those pictures of you wearing that one-piece jumpsuit back in the day? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you know, that's still hot. There's ladies out there saying, <laughs> look at my afro now. Y'all know, I get retro. That's right. I get me some tight jeans. No, one-piece jumpsuits, though. No, I got them, and I still got mine. I knew oh. they was coming back. I knew they was coming back. I said that 25 years ago. They coming back. They coming back. One and they piece. almost back. Wait, tight one piece. Man, I'm telling through. you, I got all my old clothes. Okay. Actually, now, you know what? Guys look kind of hot in them to me. Oh. The See, little well, thank jean you. ones. You well, know, thank kinda, you. I, I like that kind of earthy country type of guy. Tight or loose? Ooh. I like an earthy guy. So loose, of course. I don't like the tight. Loose. Well, we we earthy. <laughs> I'm not. I don't really want the cowboy look. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, we were going to do the cowboy. We were thinking about that one too. <laughs> We were. All right, next week, you guys, too, we're going to try to do this thing. It's coming up. We're going to experiment on the air with two things next week. Mm. The video chat room and with on-air calling. We're going to try to call people and Skype and some other things. We're going to, if it messes all up, you know, nothing else. You know it won't be nothing new. Nothing new. All right? <laughs> all right, now, so everybody, gird your loins. Gird your lines, as we say so often. <laughs> you wonder what that means. I know, I know. I wonder what it means. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, hoping that you like me. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy. Because of all the beautiful and new things we're learning about you day by day. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Miss Toffee Shula. Welcome. That's right. Where's the screams? I need my screams. Where, where?